Eight News spoke with State Superintendent of Public Instruction Jillian Ballow as she visited Louisa County Schools today, addressing some of the programs in place there and how they could be applied throughout the Commonwealth. Eight News reporter Olivia Jaquith joining us live now in the Digital Central with what the superintendent had to say. Good evening. Good evening, Eric. Well, one of the topics Ballo discussed with students in class today was about the three branches of government. Her role falling under the executive branch, helping to enforce the laws and what they mean for school divisions right here in Virginia. That includes new changes to curriculum, more money for school construction, and incentives to address teacher shortages. From bakers to historians to mechanics and even journalists, Virginia Superintendent of Public Instruction Jillian Ballow visited Louisa County Schools today, helping to hand out grant money to teachers while addressing changes in the state's education system. We are always interested in being the best and being the first. Inside the expansive Louisa County High School, rebuilt after a 2011 earthquake, Ballow visited classrooms featuring both retired teachers come back to substitute and newer teachers helping with early learning. And child care, all efforts to address a statewide teacher shortage. There are great teachers across the Commonwealth who um, are either <clears throat> are either beginning teachers and may need some help getting into the classroom, or who are pr potential teachers that we want to incentivize to get into the classroom. Engaging students on history and government, Vallo also addressed criticism of new proposed changes to the Department of Education standards for curriculum, such as adjusting some of the language surrounding the teaching of Virginia's post-Civil War Reconstruction and shifting references to Native and First Americans to instead say Indigenous peoples. The governor has never, ever said um, anything even remotely close to whitewashing history. In fact, just the opposite. Um, the governor uh, the, the Secretary of Education, myself, all of the administration, and I believe all of Virginia has the same goal in mind, and that is to teach history comprehensively, the good and the bad. Now, Superintendent Ballow also spoke with me about Governor Youngkin's recent executive order working to address teacher shortages and learning loss right here in the Commonwealth. She says the order has directed her to flex as much money and support as possible to help promote programs like what you saw happening in Louisa, bringing more educators back into the workforce. Live in the Digital Center tonight, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News.